guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. We're gonna call this one Turbo Talk 2. Uh, we've got a lot of turbos coming. We've got a, uh, a Pulsar 3576. It's a uh, ball bearing turbo and it's got a 58 millimeter compressor and a 62 millimeter turbine. Uh, T4 housing, we have an open and a divided housing. We have two housings to test. Uh, again, we'll test the divided housing and see if it affects it. On the last test, we tested the uh, modified Garrett. And this is a, a Garrett T04B with a 66 millimeter compressor and a 65 millimeter turbine. So, the wheel's a little bit too large for it, but that's okay. We got it to, to run pretty nice. With the open housing, it ran pretty sweet, uh, but we dropped 20 horse by running that divided housing. I didn't run another test to verify that result or not, but we're gonna move on to the next turbo, and that's this cobbled together Borg Warner uh, from what I can tell, it's a 364, 64 millimeter compressor with extended tip technology on the uh, exducer of the compressor. And then it's got the 73 millimeter uh, turbine. So this was off of a Power Stroke 6.4 liter. And I'll show you the housing. The turbine housing is uh, welded up and bolted on a T4 uh, manifold. So we're gonna put it together and on the next dyno run, we're going to, uh, to test it. So this housing is a pretty big leap from 65 millimeters for the turbine to 73. Uh, but we'll see how it turns out. We'll see if it even works. And the reason I'm doing this is trying to find the sweet spot for turbos on this engine. Uh, the next option, that, that Pulsar is going to be real sweet, I think. It's, uh, it could be the perfect turbo. But if it's not, we also have the option of getting a, uh, a Pulsar SXE 363. And that is a uh, 63 millimeter uh, compressor and a 68 millimeter uh, turbine wheel. So I know the 65 millimeter turbine wheel is pretty nice and 64 is even nicer. So the 62 might be perfect. But if it's not, we could also try the, uh, the larger turbo and see how that works. Uh, the 6368. This one's going to be 6473. So I'm very interested to see how this works. And this is a modern-ish turbo. I mean, don't laugh too hard. It's It's been all hacked up. But if it's really good, I could possibly uh, buy a, uh, a proper SXE 364. But it'll certainly give me good ideas if, uh, if, it, if it's good. It could be really laggy, smoky, we don't know. But we're going to try it. So I'm going to put this together and then we'll start it up and just do a couple of quick runs with it and see. And then beat on it uh, on dyno day, which is just in a few more days. So lots of, uh, lots of turbos to test. I also have a Garrett uh, ball bearing turbo. It's similar to the T04 family. I'm not ex entirely sure yet what model it is. Uh, I think it's a GT model. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with them, but we're going to test it. It's a 63-63. But I can also take the compressor off of that and put it on this turbo. This, they'd make it a 63-65. All right, here it is. Cobbled together. 
we're just going to fire it up now and uh, get some oil into this turbo so we'll let it idle for about five minutes or so uh, warm Jimmy up and we'll do if we can a couple of pulls and see if the turbo's any good it might be just too large but we'll find out just a quick test for this turbo and uh, it uh, it doesn't have much bottom end but boy when it spools up does it go I, uh, I kept blowing the boots off uh, I don't have the correct clamps here so I changed this boot uh, from the 6.4 boot 
And uh, anyway, I'll run some uh, dyno runs Saturday. And we'll see what it does. But I put on about half an hour, 36 minutes screwing around. Uh, pretty smoky though. I'll review the video and see how much smoke it made. He made 22 pounds of boost, which was two pounds more than the, uh, the uh, Garrett was making. So, and I ran, I ran out of uh, water mess, so I didn't have any of that. But uh, he made 260 horse and around, right around the 600 to 650 foot pounds. But I'll get accurate numbers on Saturday. I could only do a couple of pulls. The uh, turbo boot kept blowing off. And uh, so I really didn't get a good run in. Just a couple of pulls. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised he even spins that turbo. That's pretty impressive. Considering it's a 6 liter, 6.4 liter V8 power stroke uh, turbo. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.